Hi guys, my name's Lily and I'm one of the neurophysiotherapists based at Guys and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust. I am here today with my colleague Kev and my personal Parkinson, Stephen. We have been invited by Parkinson's UK to host this high intensity physical activity session. It's going to get a little bit hot and sweaty, so please make sure you've got plenty of water close by. If you start to feel tired, you can also pause the session whenever you like. From a safety perspective, please make sure your area is trigger free, no trip hazards around, and have your mobile phone close by in case of a medical emergency. If you start to feel unwell at any point, please pause the session and seek appropriate medical attention. We'll be using weights and some of the exercises, and I'll tell you when you need to use those. Please wait for you yourself if you're heavy. I think you're ready to go. You are. Let's get started. So, really nice marching here, guys. Really drive those knees up nice and high and swing those arms backwards as well as forwards. As you can see, Kev is doing some modified versions of these exercises for you today. So if any of them seem too hard or a bit too intense, you've always got a second option for you. Now, keeping those knees driving up, we're gonna come into our arms, we're gonna push up and down push those arms up as high as you can but still remembering those knees up nice and high good okay now coming on to some full star jumps for me we're going to come up and down good keeping both arms up nice and high and going as fast as you feel comfortable with. Last few there for me. Okay, and then coming on some bottom kicks. So legs nice and wide, heel to bottom, heel to bottom. Really transfer your weight from side to side. Licking those heels up for me. Now, if we can, do some nice bend and straightening of those elbows. Lovely. Keep this up for me. We're really waking up all those muscles in our legs and then ready to exercise. Lovely. Now, coming on to a nice squat. So legs just wider than shoulder width. We're going to come down, back up, open out that chest. As we come up, really squeeze those bottom muscles. Really open out that chest, big stretch. You can hold for a little bit longer in this position if you like. Really waking up all those muscles. Lovely. more here for me guys last few good okay now get those feet even wider for me we're just going to weight transfer from one side over to the other you might feel a bit of a pull in your groin area it's just your muscles waking up it can be a little bit tight at times those ones Nice, slow weight transfer. Not looking at speed just yet. Okay, bring all your weight over to one leg. Hold that stretch there for me. Pop your hands on your hips. Good. Coming over to the other side for me now. Holding it there. Lovely. Okay, shaking it off, shaking it off. I think we feel nice and warm, ready to go. We're going to come on to our high intensity interval session here. We have got eight exercises. I will talk you through everyone as we go along. We are going to spend 40 seconds working at a high level, then you're going to get 20 seconds rest. We're going to do all eight exercises twice 
And remember, please pause if you need to at any point. The first two exercises, we'll be using weights. Me and Stephen will be having those weights in our hands. Kev will be doing exercises without weights. From a safety perspective with your weights, when you are using them, use weights until appropriate to you. And once you finish, put them to one side so they're not a trip hazard, okay? I'm gonna grab ours, ready to go. So. Lovely. Our first exercise is going to be a lunge. We're going to be stepping backwards and our arms are going to be pushing up and down. Okay? Okay, now starting that lunge from the back, arms coming up and back down again. This is called the reverse lunge and a shoulder press. You only go down as low as you feel comfortable with. Remember, back front knee, I want you to push it out. Don't let it drop in. We are halfway through this section. If you can, try and go a little bit faster. This is high intensity, okay? Keep it up, guys. Lovely, really driving up with those arms. Last few for me. Good, and stop there, well done. We have put onto our rest section. I will show you our next exercise, okay? We're gonna do a curtsy lunge with a bicep curl. So it's gonna be a step one way, driving our arms up, and a step the other way. We are starting that in three, two, one. Off we go, we're gonna go back, bringing up our arms. Only go down as low as you feel comfortable. This can really test your balance, this exercise. Kev, again, is doing a nice modified version for us. You are halfway through, keep going. Lovely, well done. Last few here, guys. Nearly finished with this exercise. And stop, well done. Ooh, shake off those legs, shake off those arms. I'm gonna take those weights off me now. Perfect, good. Next exercise, guys, is gonna be a squat. I want your legs nice and wide, your feet 10 o'clock and two o'clock like a penguin. And we're gonna go down, punch, one, two, three, four, back. Down, one, two, three, four, good. Keep that up, really drive those arms through for me. When you're coming back up, squeeze those bottom muscles. Down, good. Well done. Halfway through this section, guys. Really, really good effort. Good, lovely punching there, Stephen. Well done. One. Last few here for me. Really powerful punches for the final ones. Good, and stop, shake it off. Remember guys, please drink plenty of water as we're going through this. Slightly easier one next, a heel raise. I want your feet shoulder width apart and you're gonna go up onto your toes and back down again. 40 seconds, might be a bit achy afterwards, but that is okay. Ready, off we go. Up onto our toes and down. Toes and down, good. Nice. Challenge your balance this one, guys. Gets everything working. Kev is going slightly slower and doing a little bit of pause as well. If your heart is feeling achy, have a little bit more of a pause after everyone. Well done. Last few here. Good, and start, oh, shake it off, shake it off. Our next exercise, a little bit complicated, but it's the knee drive. Arms up in the air, you're gonna bring the knees down, back, and you're gonna change legs each time, okay? Get yourself into a nice position, legs nice and wide, we're gonna get ready to start. Arms up nice and high, and off we go. Knee up, and switch. 
if you can, pick up a little bit of speed. Go really fast for me. If we struggle or have any shoulder issues, Kev's doing a slightly modified one, but still bringing those knees up high. Really gets the brain working this one. You are over halfway through, nearly there. Good. Last few for me, guys. And stop. It gets your arms and legs working that one, doesn't it? Next one, slightly more vigorous. We are doing skaters. We're jumping from side to side, bringing our arms up lovely and high. Make sure you've got space for this one. Just jump as far as your exercise area allows. Okay, ready? We're going this way. Off we go. So bringing those legs up, bringing those arms up nice and high. Good. Get a little bit of speed on if you can. Remember, we're meant to be hot and sweaty in this session. Over halfway through. Final few here for me. And stop. Whew. Well done. Two more exercises this round. Again, another sweaty hot one. We're doing a jumping squat. You're going to come down, big arms, really open out that chest. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Okay? Are we all ready? Yeah? Off we go. Down, up, good. Down, up. Really open out that chest. Well done, keep this up. Over halfway through, over halfway through, nearly there. Last few for me, guys. And stop. Woo. Well done hot in here. Get some water. You need some don't we, in a second. So final one. Heel raise with your knees bent. So again, feet shoulder width apart for me. Do a nice soft bend in your knees. And you're going to go down, up and down onto your toes. Ready? Off we go. Up, down. Keeping those knees bent all the way through. This is working, an area of your car, which is slightly lower down, closer to your heel. Might feel a little bit achy, a little bit stiff, but just go up as high as you feel comfortable with. Last few here for me. And stop there. Okay, shake it off. Well done. You've done one round. We're going back again. We need our weights ready to go, okay? Back to that reverse long shoulder press, guys. We are going with this leg first. Ready? Off we go. Down and then back again. Good. Only going down as low as you feel comfortable with. This one challenges your balance. Legs gonna feel more achy in this section. Over halfway through, nearly there. Remember, Kev has got modified versions. Final few for me. And stop there, well done. Ooh, shake it off, we still need our weights. We're doing the curtsy lunge with the bicep curl for this movement, okay? Remember, down as low as you can go. Careful with your balance on this one. Final few seconds of rest. And then we're ready, let's go. Down and back. Well 
well done. Concentrate on that balance for me. You guys are doing really well. You're over halfway through this bit. This is the last weighted exercise. We'll put them back after this one. Good. Final few for me. Final, final few. Good. And stop there. Shake it off. Let me grab your weights for you. Ooh, got them. Lovely. Next exercise, squat with our legs slightly turned out, four punches. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width, feet turned out, off you go. So down, one, two, three, four, back up. Really powerful punches for me. Remember to squeeze that bottom as you come up. Good, keep it up. Really high level here, guys. We're doing so well. Really working up the sweat on this session. Great work there, Stephen. Lovely. Keep it up. Remember, Kev's modified version. Always there, just in case. Final few for me. Nice. Then stop. Ooh, shake it off. Grab some water if you need to, guys. Please, please hydrate. It's fucking much more than you realise. We'll come back to our heel raise. So feet shoulder width apart, knees straight for this one. Nice and slowly, okay? Are we ready? Off we go. Up, then down. You might feel that one heel can go higher than the other. It kind of depends how stiff your ankles are, how much strength you've got on your calves. The more you do this, the easier it will get. Also really good for the balance as well. You're over halfway through. Keep it up. After this, only four more exercises of our high intensity section. Doing well, nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. Good. Oh, shake it off. Burn your that one, doesn't it? Really gets it going. We have come on to our knee drive. So arms going to come up. We're changing knees each time. I want you to focus on bringing your arms up really high. Don't get one leg behind. Both up really high. Big stretch. We ready, guys? Let's go. Up and down. Good. If we can, get a bit of speed on this. Really gets your brain working. Lots of coordination and balance work going on here. Really drive it up. If you are struggling with this movement, just slow it down. It can be a little bit challenging. You're doing really well. Well done. Last few here for me. Ah, stop there. Ooh, shake it off, shake it off. We are coming on to our skating next. So a nice little stuff. One side, bring up those arms. Really focus again and bring those arms up nice and high. Shake it off before we get started. Make sure you've got a nice space around here. Ready? Off we go. Nice. Sleepers for me. Only jump as far as your space allows. Remember, focusing on your balance as well as your technique. Lovely. Can we go a little bit faster? We're halfway through. Good. Last few here for me. Nearly there. And stop. Ooh. Okay. Two more, guys. Two more. Next one. Big jumping squat. We're going down, up, really open that back chest. Remember, have got a little bit of my version. You look like a dog to do it. Mix up the rush in, that's fine. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Really 
open out that chest. Down. Up. Good. You don't need to go down very low to start to feel those muscles working. Over halfway through. Nearly there. Last final few for me. Really well done here, guys. Ooh, and stop there. Final exercise. Remember, grab some water if you need to. Feet now, shoulder width apart. Heel raise again, but with a bent knee. Knees bent all the time. Okay? Ooh, felt that one. Sweaty, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, guys. Ready? Let's go. Up and down to our toes, to so keep those knees bent. This is hard, you've worked really hard already. This is gonna feel slightly. Up, down. Just nice breathing here. Big breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Help slowly bring that heart rate down again. Last few here for me, guys. Last few. And stop there. Well done. Shake it off. We are going to come on to our balance section next. We are going to have a chair from a safety perspective to work in single leg balance. Midway through, the guys behind me will turn around the chair, but you just reposition yourself wherever you feel safe. If you are using the chair or any kind of support, please make sure that it's sturdy slip free surface and it's not like to tipple over or fall to a nice and safe. We are going to get our chairs now and we're good to go. Okay, as you can see we have our chairs here ready to go. Stephen and Kev both have them. Kev is still going to do a modified version so a little bit slower and a bit more of a pause. I haven't got a chair, so if you'd like to follow me, it is going to be more challenging. Please be nice and safe. We're going to start by shifting our weight onto this leg. Okay, guys, holding on if we need to, and just trying to get your balance. You are going to be feeling a little bit wobbly. You just worked very hard for the last 20 minutes. If you can, just slightly soften that knee as well. It's a little bit less pressure. Get some more muscles. You might feel your feet twitching slightly, but that's just because those small muscles are tired and they've worked very hard. Well done. If you feel ready, we're going to slowly tap the free leg forward and we're just going to go all the way around. Very light, gentle taps for me. Remember, holding on if you need to. Go as quickly or as slowly as you like. Well done. Keep this up for me. The leg you're balancing on might start to feel a bit shaky, but you're working really hard. If you need to at any point, just stop, regain your balance and go again. That's lovely. Remember, really nice light feet. Now, guys, for our final bit of challenge here, still balancing on this leg, we're going to try and close our eyes for 20 seconds. Only do this if you feel comfortable and confident and always have a safe surface next to you for this. Are we ready? Let's give it a go. Okay, 20 seconds on the clock. Do some nice breathing as you're doing this. Really concentrate. You are over halfway through. Well done. Final few seconds here. Brilliant. And put both feet down. Shake it off. We are going to come on to our other leg. But before we do that, Kevin and Stephen are going to move their chairs around to the other side so they're nice and sturdy. Ready? Okay. Do you guys feel nice and safe there? Nice and set up? Brilliant. We're going to come back onto our second leg now. Shifting our weight over onto that side and just then spend a bit of time getting your balance here. Nice. 
one side is always going to be harder than the other. Mine always seems to be my right side, so I can definitely feel my feet wobbling a little bit more. Well done. Some nice big breaths for me. Good. Now those muscles start to wake up a little bit. We're going back to that toe tapping. So really gentle toe tapping all the way around. Really light feet for me. Remember, the leg you're balancing on, have a really nice soft knee, allow some other muscles to kick in. Good. Always holding on if you need some support. Even just like fingertips can make a big difference to this. You don't have to be gripping on. Well done. Last little bit here. And we're going to come back to that balancing challenge with our eyes closed. Okay. Coming back to that position again, guys. If we feel ready, we're going to try and balance for 20 seconds with our eyes closed. Remember, if you do it feel safe, if you only manage a few seconds, that's still really good. You can work on it. Are we ready? Let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. Some really nice breathing. You might feel a bit wobbly. I can feel myself swaying slightly. Remember, just in 20 minutes, some really hard work. These muscles are tired. What we expect, this is meant to be challenging. This is high level work. Last few seconds. And stop there, shake it off. Oh, we can feel that in our legs, can't we? Right, we are coming on to our cool down section now. So some really nice stretching. We're gonna do some basic stretches on both our left and our right leg. We're going to roughly spend about 20 to 30 seconds on each stretch. If you feel any of those are really beneficial, come back to them after the session. Or if a certain area of your body feels achy tomorrow, which it might do because you've worked hard. Again, it's what we kind of expect here. Just repeat these stretches again. That's fine. We're going to start off with this leg forward first. Okay, so taking this step forward, bending that front knee, keeping that back leg nice and straight. Really push down that heel. Push that knee back, hands on hips if you want to. And just take some nice breathing here. Good. You should feel a stretch in the back of that calf. If you can't, take a step for me or push that heel down. Good. Okay. Now bring in both feet slightly closer together. You're again going to both those knees now. You're still stretching your calf but just slightly lower muscle. It gets neglected a little bit sometimes, so this might feel a bit stiff. Lovely. Still doing some nice breathing. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. Good. Shake off that leg. We're coming on to our other side. So, whichever leg was in front is now behind. Nice lean forward. Push back that heel. Keep that knee nice and straight. Lovely stretch in the back of that calf. Bending in, good. Again, one side usually feels slightly tighter than the other. None of us are symmetrical. That's what we expect here. Good. Bringing both those legs closer together again and slight bend in both knees. Well done. Big breath in for me and big breath out. Really try and slow that breathing down. Helps bring that heart rate back down again. Good. Stretch off both those legs, shake it off a little bit. Whichever side the chair is on, I'd like to hold onto that chair. You are gonna bring your weight onto that leg and we are gonna bring our other leg up, heel to bottom. We are stretching our front thigh muscle here. So I don't want your knee all the way up. I'd like both knees as close together as possible. If you can, just slightly push your hips forward, you get a bit more of a stretch on that front leg. Holding it here. Remember, chair there to balance. This is a balance exercise, this is a nice stretch. Lovely. Shake off that leg. We're still staying stretching this leg. This next one, a little bit tricky. We're stretching our bottom muscles. So again, hold on to the chair for support if you need to. You're going to bring this leg over to your knee and then slowly sit down, stick that bottom out and hold that position there. Good. Bringing those shoulders back. 
and some really nice breathing. You should feel a nice stretch on your bottom muscles here. Slightly down your thigh as well. Good. Shake it off. Shake off that leg. These guys are now going to switch your chair around to the other side and we're going to stretch off that thigh muscle and that bottom muscle again. Okay. Chairs feel nice and supportive, guys. Good position. Lovely. Exact same thing again. We're going to bring our weight onto this leg, holding onto the chair for support, and then your free leg you bring up behind you, heel to bottom. Bring both knees close together, up nice and tall, really pushing your hips forward. Good. Well done. Really nice stretch down that front thigh muscle there, guys. Okay, shake off that leg, stretching our bottom muscle again. Remember, holding on, this is a challenging balance one. Bringing that knee, foot over to our knee, bending down, really sticking out that bottom of the knee. Good, holding that position. Well done, if you can, stick the bottom out even more, you feel more of a stretch. shake off that leg. Final stretch now guys, we're doing our arms. Like to bring your arm out to the side, bringing it across your body. Your hand that's free, bring it to your elbow and pull across. You should feel a really nice stretch down your shoulder here. If you can't feel it just yet, just pull it across slightly. We want to feel a stretch, but we don't want pain when we're stretching, okay? Shake off that arm, exact same the other side. Arm out to the side, bringing it all the way across. Whichever hand is free, come to that elbow. Nice, gentle pull across. Good. Hold it here for a few more seconds. Well done, and you finish, shake everything off. Well done, well done guys. Thank you so much for joining us for this session worked really really hard we've definitely worked up an absolute sweat and it's been a pleasure having you here you might feel a bit tired and a little bit achy it might not be today it might be tomorrow but that's completely normal that's what we expect your muscles have worked very very hard here your brains also work quite hard as well so well done if you enjoyed these sessions Parkinson's UK have plenty of more content on their website just check the physical activity tab I would also recommend having a look at your local leisure centre when you're doing physical activity, it doesn't always have to be Parkinson specific. As long as you enjoy it, you find it challenging, and you're able to stick with it and form that habit, then that's absolutely brilliant. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the session here with us today, and we'd love to have you back again. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you.